Now first let me show you the problem. So here is a login page. Here we have this text. If you tap on this text, the registration page appears. On the registration page, we have a similar text. If you tap on it, the login page appears. Now let me tap on this text a few times. Now let me press the back button a few times. And now you have realized that there are multiple instances of these pages on the background. Or to be specific, on the stack of the navigator. So in Flutter, the navigator maintains the routes and it maintains them in a stack. So the navigator maintains a stack of the routes. So whenever a route is loaded, whenever a page is loaded, the corresponding route is pushed to the stack. Whenever the back button is pressed or the function pop is called, the route from the top of the stack is removed and the page disappears and the route below it appears so in this case whenever we tapped on the text a new instance of the root representing the page gets added to the stack and as we have tapped on the text multiple times multiple instances of the roots gets added to the stack and whenever we press the back button the root at the top of the stack gets removed making the one below it visible and as we have multiple roots there in the stack, we keep on seeing the same roots again and again. Now this is not an expected behavior, right? Does not matter how many times you load this login page or the registration page. Whenever you press the back button, the landing page should appear. Now to fix this, we can load a new route and we can remove the previous routes until the first one, the landing page. And to do that, we have to use the function push and remove until instead of push so here call push and remove until and now we have to provide two parameters two arguments first one is the root so let's keep this one and in the second one we have to provide a, an implementation of a function defining the condition according to which the previous roots needs to be removed and this function gets the root an instance of the root as an argument now if you return true from this function then no none of the previous routes will be removed because whenever this function returns true it stops removing the routes so if you return true then it will not remove any of the previous routes and if you re return false then it will remove all of the previous routes but in this case we want to remove the previous routes until the first one the landing page so we can use this instance of root and we can call is first on it so this returns true if this is the first root of the navigator stack so in this case if it is the first then it is going to be the landing page and that is what we want so let's return root dot is first and now if you save the changes and load the app and this time try clicking on this text a few times and if you press back whenever you press back you will be taken to the landing page so this is the difference between push and push and remove until and in such situations push and remove until can help a lot now if you like the video then press the like button subscribe to the channel and let's get connected on the comment section